Hello and welcome to Kimberly's Kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to prepare my shrimp and corn boil. You will need the following ingredients. Three bay leaves. One onion, peeled and quartered. Four cloves of garlic, smashed between a wide-edged knife and a cutting board. A quarter teaspoon each of salt and black peppercorns. Six small red potatoes, washed and halved. Four ears of corn, shucked and cut in thirds. 175 grams of gluten-free summer sausage, cut into one-inch thick slices with the skin removed. This ingredient is optional. One pound of large, uncooked shrimp in their shells. Two tablespoons of fresh parsley, minced. Half a cup of butter. One clove of garlic, minced. Two tablespoons of lemon peel, grated, and two lemons washed and cut into wedges. You will need the following tools. A cutting board, a sharp knife, a deep skillet with a lid, a garlic press, measuring cups and spoons, a colander, a small saucepan, and a wooden spoon. Pour enough water into a deep skillet so that it comes three quarters of the way up the sides. Add the bay leaves, two lemon wedges, the smashed garlic, the salt and peppercorns, and the onions to the skillet. Turn the heat to high, cover the skillet with a tight-fitting lid, and let it come to a boil. Once boiling, add the potatoes, summer sausage if using, and the corn. Let the mix return to a rapid boil and cover with the lid. Once boiling, add the grated lemon peel and mix to help infuse the flavor. Cover the skillet, turn the heat down low, and let simmer till the vegetables are almost tender, about eight minutes. Meanwhile, in the small saucepan, melt the butter over low heat, stirring frequently. Add the minced garlic and stir well. Keep the heat on very low to keep the butter warm and stir occasionally so that it doesn't burn while preparing the rest of this dish. Add the shrimp to the skillet and cook for about three minutes until the shrimp turn pink. Be careful not to overcook the shrimp as they will get tough. Drain the skillet into the colander. Arrange the shrimp and corn boil on a platter or in a large serving bowl and sprinkle with parsley. Serve with lemon wedges and garlic butter on the side for dipping. And there you have it, another delicious quick and easy creation from Kimberly's Kitchen. A special thanks to Studio Zaro for use of their kitchen showroom to film this recipe.